What's up everybody, let's talk PlayStation. So the rumor mill is back at it again with more PlayStation All-Stars leak characters. The newest leak character that we know about right now is Cat from Gravity Rush. The screenshot to your right shows that Cat uh, was actually on the website. She had her own character profile, but uh, right now there's no way to actually get to that URL, but a couple people got to it and they took the screenshot. So uh, looks like Cat's in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Even though this is a rumor, I mean, you know, at this point, every single leak character in PlayStation All-Stars has been confirmed, so let's just, you know, at this point, let's just say she's in the game. My problem with Cat being in the game is she's not really a PlayStation All-Star. Like, yeah, she's an exclusive PlayStation character on PlayStation Vita, but, like, she's in one game, you know? Like, where are the real All-Stars? I know many of you want to know about what's going on with Crash Bandicoot in the game. Well, if you guys didn't know, uh, Omar Kendall, the director of the game, actually made a comment about that, and he basically said that if Crash ever is in the game, and if he was, like, perhaps DLC, downloadable content, he would be free. Basically, Omar kind of hinted that they're trying to get Crash in the game, but I guess there's a couple licensing issues. If you guys didn't know, Sony doesn't actually own Crash anymore. Uh, Sony sold Crash Bandicoot to Activision a couple years back, so Sony doesn't even own Crash anymore. So it's really not Sony's choice to put Crash in the game. It's really Activision's choice. So if you really want Crash Bandicoot in the game, at least Omar Kendall hinted that they're trying to get him in the game, because he kind of made it sound like, like Crash isn't going to be in the final product, but that maybe they could pick him up as DLC later. But the good news is, he'd be free DLC. So if you live in Canada, chances are you don't have a 3G PlayStation Vita because the 3G PlayStation Vita isn't out in Canada. But good news for you, it's coming out now. It's coming out October 2nd in the Great White North and Rogers is the network carrier. Eh? So chances are, if you booted up your PS3 this week, you were prompted to download firmware 4.25 and this adds the uh, one gigabyte increased storage for PlayStation Plus members. So now if you were a PlayStation Plus member, you get one gigabyte of cloud storage. Sony announced this at Gamescom and it was supposed to actually also come with a uh, PS Vita uh, support for uh, PlayStation Plus. PS Vita is supposed to be getting new PlayStation Plus deals. We don't see any of that yet, but the cloud storage is increased, so there you go. If you aren't a PlayStation Plus subscriber, then you got to download a free mandatory update. Isn't that nice? So this is a really interesting one. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know about this. Maybe it can pick your brains a little bit. Uh, Bethesda, if you didn't know, uh, the Downguard DLC that was supposed to come out on PS3 isn't, you know, it's just not coming out. It just hasn't come out yet. Xbox 360 has this DLC. Uh, PC has this DLC. They're enjoying Downguard. Uh, on Skyrim and they're you know it's a great content and people love Skyrim people love Bethesda they make great games but if you didn't know the PS3 version of most, uh, most Bethesda games have been absolute crap they just don't run they're glitchy they're the worst uh, versions of the game and uh, looks like Downgar wasn't going to be coming a couple of Bethesda spokespersons even said that the game was uh, they're having troubles getting the, the DLC to run on the PlayStation 3 I guess it's an issue with the RAM on the PlayStation 3 and just how the PlayStation 3 operates. And a lot of people are blaming the fact that it's not really Bethesda as it is the PS3's fault because that's how the PS3 was designed. Now, in my opinion, it's Bethesda's fault mostly. I mean, yeah, the PlayStation 3 is designed this way, but Bethesda is a business, they're a company, and they have fans. They, they're the ones that are responsible to have to get this content running on the console. I mean, let's face it, the Xbox 360 has advantages over the PlayStation 3, but the PlayStation 3 has advantages over the Xbox 360. They're both very different systems in terms of how they operate, since the PlayStation 3 was made with a cell processor, and uh, the synergi uh, synergistic processors inside of it, and the amount of RAM. They're, they're actually very different consoles to develop for. If you remember, a lot of developers early on said it was hard to develop for the PS3. But at the same time, a lot of Sony's first-party developers have said that the PlayStation 3 is uh, more powerful. They can get more, they can squeeze more power out of it. Uh, developers like Naughty Dog even said they couldn't make their games on Xbox 360. Point being, it's clear that uh, you know we can get this content to work on PlayStation 3. I mean, we can't blame the PlayStation 3. If the PlayStation 3 operates a little bit differently, then Bethesda should be able to use that differently. I mean, it's just a little d disappointing on, on, you know, for, for gamers alike and, and on Bethesda's part, to be honest. It's just, it's, it's sloppy business practice. I mean, you've got all these potential buyers that love your product. I mean, I know a lot of PlayStation gamers that love Fallout, that love Skyrim, and they, they still go out and willingly spend their money on these games, and they're just, you know, they're given the crappiest, you know, the version of it. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's sad. But more so to the point of the actual story that's on my right, Sony does have a team working with Bethesda closely to try and get the content to work on PlayStation 3. Whether you're an Xbox fan or PC fan, you gotta feel some sympathy here. I mean, PS3 fans love the game just as much as you guys do. They just have a different console, and they just have a different platform of choice, and they just want to enjoy the content like you guys do. 
And personally, my favorite news story of the week was that I hit 50 platinum trophies. Oh, I am I am so addicted to trophies. I love trophies so much. Uh, I, I feel like a game is just isn't complete unless I have 100% trophies in it. It's just, I, I'm addicted. I know we talked about a little bit in the comments last week about trophies, but hey, does anyone out there have some platinum trophies? Anyone addicted like I am? You know, I, I can't be the only one. I browse ps3trophies.org all the time. I know there's lots of trophy hunters out there. Are there any watching my videos? So what do you guys think about trophies? Like them, hate them, addicted, what? That concludes this week's episode of Let's Talk PlayStation. I'm Ryan Vanecki. Thank you for talking with me, and see you next Friday.